we get this error on otherwise fully functional wave files. So I've just written a very simple script here that's going to show us the first 100 bytes of a WAV file. I have two of them here. One of them is cleaned, and the other one hasn't been cleaned. And I've just commented that one out. And then it's going to try to actually load that WAV file. So let's run that script. And you can see that I've highlighted the uh, bytes 20 and 21 here. And this is what a normal WAV file should look like. Uh, when I close this window, it'll show us a little bit of data. It's just to confirm that it has loaded. Um, but let's go ahead and just show you one that hasn't been cleaned. So when we load that up, bytes 20 and 21, you can see have this kind of weird data in there. And that's actually the W format tag. And when I close this window, it's kind of interesting, actually. The, the wave module in Python returns the same error that you would get with a Pioneer DJ player. So to solve that problem, I've created this app here called WaveFix. And to demonstrate, I've got a folder here called Test, and it has my WOLG discography in it. And you can see we've got some files with different EPs. I have a, a playlist folder here I'd like to maintain, as well as the cover art for each of these EPs. So if we drag this whole thing in here, you can see we've loaded up all of the WAV files, as well as the other accepted extensions, which are all the kind of common things you might find in an album, including our playlist. And you can see that we have some files here that are perfectly fine, but the majority of them have that W format tag associated with them. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And what we're going to see here is the first aspect of the smart save functionality. When I export this folder to the desktop, you'll see it actually exports the WOLG folder instead of the test folder. And the reason for that is because there's nothing in the test folder that we care about except the WOLG folder. Um, and within the WOLG folder exists all of this stuff. But if I move the playlist folder here now to the test folder, we're going to see the second part of WaveFix's smart save functionality. So let's clear what's in WaveFix by clicking on it. And then we'll drag this test folder back in again. And when we remove the tags this time, now it's going to ask us, would you like to overwrite the existing folder? And we'll just say no. And so here, now let's export this folder called test underscore clean. And inside of that, now you can see here's the playlist folder because we want that folder. So we need to export the test folder instead. Now this um, smart save functionality works all the way down the chain. If you were to load individual WAV files into, into WaveFix and then try to save them into the same location, it will also uh, append underscore clean to all of your WAV files. So it's, it's not recommended that you do that if you really had to put it in the same folder for some reason. Just make a, make a folder here, or you could make a folder here, right, you know, and, and call this one like, you know, bubblegum clean or whatever, and then that would do that. You can also just load the bubblegum folder in. So let's just clear that out, and let's look at the folder that we export earlier. Here it is. It's entirely maintained our original structure with the um, artwork and our wonderful playlist folder. Nothing's been screwed with. Everything has simply been copied over except the files that had the W format tag, and that tag has, as you can see, been removed. Nothing is actually changed about the audio. When we do this, it, it just simply removes that tag. One last feature I want to point out about this uh, software is that if you hover your mouse over any of these names, it will show you the actual file path. So that if you were to take your whole music library and dump it in here, it will take a while for it to load up. You'll probably get the spinning ball, but it will eventually do it. And what will be export is the exact file structure, but with only the supported um, file types, which are going to be listed in the user documentation. Um, so that can be kind of handy for extracting uh, large music libraries. And as I said, you can also then use this application to look and see where in those um, giant folders actually things are. Um, so that is the totality of WaveFix. I hope that you guys find it useful.